Hello and welcome back to Montana. We're digging some dirt today and we're also running the Denver Gold Saver, am I right? You are correct. Denver Gold Saver truck. That is quite the machine built back in what, the 70s? 60s, 70s, 60, maybe 70s. up to the 80s. For sampling for the bigger gold companies. So we're going to be running that. That's quite the trommel setup. It's got the shaker tray on the bottom, so we'll show you how that works. We're just filling up a few buckets of dirt here. Get them ready to go. We are using the shovel bucket again today. There we go. That's how fast that thing is. What we're digging in here today is they were digging underground here, the old timers. So you can see all kinds of broken bedrock and washed gravel in here. But they were going down under the ground, getting the placers. And this stuff right here is stuff that ran off of their wash plant. And that's what we're digging up here. Uh, I don't think the gold's going to be real huge or anything. This area is not known for real big gold fine flakes, decent flakes, but that's what we're running, a big, big tailing pile here. So we'll get some dirt out of it and see if we can find some gold. Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the gold saver before we start running some dirt. You can see in here that it's a double barrel sluice or a double barrel trommel so the material goes through here then there's a spiral in here that carries it all the way back up to the front before it drops into the sluice it'll take about a five inch rock up there in the top and he's got this down to where he's running about five gallons a minute that is not much water um, then we come over here it's all ran electrically I uh, use the solar powered uh, batteries and we're pumping water from the creek up here but this is a hard molded rubber hard molded rubber I guess is what you'd call it and the sluice and it shakes back and forth as it's running um, you don't have if you're doing sampling it's great because you don't have any you know like with carpet or anything else you might contaminate your samples but this is what this was designed for was sampling so you don't have any carryover. It all washes out real clean. We'll show you how that works. So let's go ahead and start running some material. We'll get her turned on and see if we can find some gold.
and I'm filling up one, two, three, four, five, seven buckets. This stuff is. Okay, get this thing out of here. Slightly wide? Yeah. Well, oh, I thought from mm -hmm. corner to corner. Okay. We'll get the water on. Get some water. Pumps on. <laughs> and he got a little bit wet there. Yeah, I got I a little wet. I saw you jump. Okay. And you got. Okay, well we finished our run with the Denver Gold Saver and I'd like to thank Steve for letting us come up to his claim and and run his equipment. Um, here's the gold we got out of our two clean outs just out of the tailing pile. So, not super fantastic, but we got to run the trommel. Um, it was kind of fun. There's a bunch of small stuff in there too. But thanks for watching and we will catch you next time. Bye now.